Hi fellow traders, I hope everybody had a great week this week. It was a little, it was very, very slow for me. Um, I just wasn't comfortable. You know, after last week, I decided I wasn't gonna force anything. And so it was pretty pretty slow. The first two days was okay. You know, I, I reset my count, I started back, and I, I messed up. I didn't have 1,500. I had 1300 I guess I couldn't you know my addition and subtraction skills were a little bit off but you know I grew at 26 percent in Monday and Tuesday Wednesday and Thursday I just didn't feel comfortable I didn't like the way the market was was gotten like the price action and I just kind of stayed out and there were a couple trades yesterday that I probably could have gotten in, you know, had I been a little bit more receptive. You know, so this morning I started out and, you know, being out for a couple of days, you could tell I had a little bit of rust. I was a little bit apprehensive at um, taking some trades here. So I'll show you the only trade that I took today was on FOLD. And you can see I missed the opening range breakdown. I just flat missed it. Um, just fumbling around. I, at right now, I don't even remember what I was doing. I just know I missed it. And so I waited for the pullback, the VWAP, and the rejection. And I was proud of not anticipating. I waited for this to close. I waited for this candle to get below. And I got in but accidentally took some off when I was trying to put my stop in so I had to get back you know get right back in so that that's what all that was and you know I held through this I was I was looking for 1450 that was the next level but we never could get there and when we started bouncing we made a higher low I went ahead and took it you know just took it all off you know for some profit here and said I'll wait and let's see if it sets up again so we pull back and you know you could see we were starting to grind up here you know we were making higher lows you know we were gearing up to pop VWAP so I was watching it and I thought about getting this over VWAP but I was like no you know the market this, this market is just funny it's just not you know really it, did, it didn't look strong you know or anything so I waited I let it fail and then we came back and printed this candle so we had a big volume so I'm like this is it you know it's, it's coming back so I got in here and you know we popped back up tested VWAP again and I was like, well, I'm not going to add, you know, this was, this was only like 10 cents or so. So, so I wasn't going to add or anything. I was just going to see if it, it worked. And plus I was sitting in the car. I wasn't, you know, at my desk. I'm waiting to, to get my son. And, you know, we make the, we make the move. And I take half off here at 75 again which is where we had problems before and you know we got a little pullback and then you know just took it off right before close you know and this I did on my phone you know this I did here and it, and it they're small trades but they're solid setups and I was proud of myself. And the reason why I'm sharing this is that I was proud of myself that I didn't let, I didn't do what I was doing before by letting this influence the way I trade. Getting mad because I missed this huge move. Then I try to size up and make all this money back on a smaller trade. You know, things that I was doing last week that I just kind of lost control and it's not about the money 
Because when you start focusing on the money, that's when you start losing it. It's about nailing the trades. It's about the skill. It's about nailing your, it's about, you know, setting, building a, a good trade plan. It's about nailing the entry. It's about hitting your marks. If you do that, the money's going to be there. But when you start focusing on money and start thinking about, well, this person is making a couple thousand dollars and I'm only making, you know, a couple of dollars, something's not. I need to follow. I need to do what this person is doing. Well, no, you don't. Because number one, you don't know if they're actually doing it for real. And number two, you have to be you. You know, you may not have the resources. You may not be in that position. You know, so you have to start where you are with what you have. And don't focus on what you don't have. Focus on what you do have and your resourcefulness. You know, that's that's what it's all about. You know, and this came from, you know, a couple of years ago, I was just starting to trade, you know, starting to get into it and, and really was looking into it. And we went to see this movie, The Pursuit of Happiness. And it was based on a true story of this guy named Chris Gardner, who um, you know, he lost his wife. He all, he always had a vision to be more than what he was, you know, and he ended up losing his wife. Um, you know, he became homeless, was taking care of his son. You know, it, if you don't know the story, if you haven't seen the movie, it's, it's great. I mean, it's something that really inspired me. And, and really let me know that, hey, we're going to have to go through times. We're going to have to go through struggles. But if you sit here and wait for everything to be perfect and, and it to be the perfect time, then it's never going to happen. You know, this was my beginning to my pursuit of happiness. You know, it just seemed like every time I tried, I would just make more steps back. I would sit here and say, you know, if I had time just to trade the market, if I didn't have to work and I could just trade the market all day, you know, or if I had a little bit more capital or if I could afford this computer or have the right tools, you know, if I had the right opportunity and you, you know, the list of excuses we give ourselves, that's what was holding me back. That's what was holding me back. And I and I looked at this guy and he didn't have a home. He didn't have a whole lot of money coming in. Didn't have a steady job. But he took a internship that was it was like a a a, a long-term interview for a job. There was no guarantee. And he didn't get paid for it. And he had to work his butt off. You know. And it let me know that hey. If you really want something bad enough. You can make it happen. You know you just start where you are. You know with, with what you have. You know so. I just want you guys to know. It's not about. You know waiting until. You have this in place or waiting until you have that in place. You can start on your journey now. You can start learning now. It doesn't take you spending thousands of dollars on a class. It, because nine times out of ten, you spend thousands of dollars and you still can't trade a damn thing. You still don't know what to do. So it's, it's not about that. It's about looking at yourself, looking at your resourcefulness, understanding who you are, and making the decision to start. Right here, right now, to start. If you don't start, if you don't make that decision and you don't put everything into what you into this, 
it's not going to happen for you. I can guarantee you it's not going to happen. I can't guarantee anything else in this industry and in this profession other than unless you make the decision, unless you decide for yourself that I'm going to start and I'm going to do everything I need to do to make it happen. And I'm not going to worry about what I don't have. I'm going to use what I have to make it. Then you're going to be on the right track. If you don't do that, I can guarantee you, you're going to fail. You're going to be part of that 90% that, that doesn't make it in this industry. And it's a very real, you know, I think it's even higher than 90% if, to be honest with you. I really do. So, you know, my message here is start with what, start where you are with what you have. If you sit around and wait for the perfect moment in time, I promise you that's never going to come. If everyone did that, you know, think about where would we be? We would probably still be back in the Stone Age if nobody took a chance. You know, I remember hearing um, this a motivational speaker say the richest places on earth are the graveyards because there lies most of the earth's tap, untapped potential. You know, buried there are inventions that we will never have the chance to experience because somebody was waiting on the perfect opportunity to take a chance. You know, buried in those cemeteries are some of the world's greatest minds who never had the opportunity to share it with the world because instead of a cre in cre instead of creating an opportunity to share it, they were waiting on an opportunity to come their way. Just imagine where we would be as a people if some of these people would have started where they were with what they had and brought their visions to life. Just, just think about where we would be. You know, so if you have a vision of trying to build your financial future through trading the, the stock market, then you have you can't wait for the perfect time because it's never going to come. You know, I was sitting here waiting, man, if I can win five thousand dollars in the lottery, I'll be good to go. You know, but that didn't work. I had to start saving money. I had to cut out the $10 a day lunches I was doing. I had to cut out the $150 a week worth of lottery tickets I was buying. You know, I had to look inside myself and say, hey, look, look at what I do have. And let's use that and let's make it happen. So this is what this fourth quarter challenge is all about. It's about rededicating yourself. You know, it's about, you know, finishing this year strong so that you can start out the next year with this incredible momentum. You know, it's about, it's going to be about believing in yourself. It's going to be about changing the, the limited mindset that you have. No, it's going to be about starting right now, not about what happened the last nine months it's not about you know all of the money you spent on somebody's education and you know you keep losing money it's not about that it's about dedicating yourself starting where you are right now using what you do have and and moving forward and you can make this a phenomenal quarter. You know, everybody that I've got messages from ask me about, you know, how much, you know, what's your goal? What's your monetary goal? There is no monetary goal. What you have to do before you can make any money is make the decision, make the commitment, dedicate yourself to learning. Dedicate yourself to growing, doing it the right way. Because before you can make $200 a day, you need to learn how to make $20 a day. 
of fifty dollars a day. You know, if you can't do that, I don't care how much money you give somebody. I don't care what um, package you buy or what software you buy. You still aren't gonna make it because you're not gonna take the time to learn how to do it the right way. And yeah, you may get lucky and nail a trade here and there, but you won't have anything to fall back on. You won't have anything to hold your hat back on. So that's what this four quarter challenge is about. It's about challenging you to, do, to change your mindset, to believe in yourself, to not let anybody hold you down and forget about all of the stuff that you did forget about what this person did to you or what that person did to you or you got duped by this person or you got duped by that person that's it's all of that has to stay in the past you got to leave that you got to start now and you can't let other people affect what you do in the future you cannot do that if you cannot give these people power over you anymore you know I started um, you know I spent a lot of money that I wish I hadn't have spent sometimes but then I realized if I hadn't have done that I might not be here right now you know if I didn't join um, Tim site service at the very beginning and realized I didn't like penny stocks I probably wouldn't be here now you know, had I not found um, Investors Underground when I did, I probably wouldn't be here right now. You know, I probably would have just given up on trading. But, you know, each little, each place I went got me closer to where I am now. So it's not about all of that stuff. You know, I'm here now and it's time to, to move forward. When I started this community, I didn't have anything. I just started it because I wanted to share what I have. And I started with what I had. I used my resourcefulness and was able to get it together in a weekend and hit the ground running. I mean, I'm still learning. I'm still growing in this. It's the community, you know, it, it's still not perfect. But every day we make strides to get there. You know, and that's that's what it's all about. So that's what I wanted to share with you going into the weekend. Um, you know, I, I'm going to be out of town. So I'm going to see if I can do my uh, recap video there. Um, if I can, I will. If not, I'll do it at the beginning of the week because, you know, I really didn't trade that much. This was just a, a slow week for me and probably only made four or $500 at the most. But starting with $1,300 at the end of the week, making four or five, you, you can't beat that. That's, that's not, excuse me, that's not bad growth. And that, that's what I want you guys to understand and accept. It's going to take time, but if you dedicate three months, the last three months, to becoming better and growing and developing as a trader, you can make 2018 your best year yet. But you got to start 28, you got to finish 2017 strong. We got to finish this four quarter strong. You know, we can come back. I guarantee you we can come back. We just have to put our mind to it and dedicate ourselves. And, and it's going to happen. So you guys have a great weekend. Enjoy yourself. And I will see you Monday morning.